If you have been playing Star Citizen's cargo hauling missions, you might just be looking for that optimal cargo loop that will bring you in a decent amount of cash, as well as providing an engaging and satisfying cargo loop. The cargo loop that I have found can net you between 150k and 200,000 AUEC per hour with using a medium cargo hauler. Now, I'm not a big fan of sitting and rolling my fingers while my ship is in quantum, so I will be focusing this video on planetary contracts and I will be focusing for the member rank, as rookie and junior can be completed pretty quickly and easily with a couple of missions. And despite my previous evaluation of Kati Black vs C1 Spirit as medium cargo haulers, this time I will be taking a perfect ship for the job, the MISC Hull A. The Hull A is a perfect cargo hauler for the missions I'm planning, as they will primarily be focusing on single pickup and multiple drop-offs, and Hull A with its four external cargo pods for easy loading and sorting, and a total of 64 SCU of cargo capacity is just perfect for that job. I'm situated in Port Tressler, so all of the missions will be within Microtech system, and all of them will be planetary missions, and given the state of 324.1, I will be avoiding outposts as much as possible due to elevator fall-through bugs and focusing primarily on distribution centers. The missions that I will be taking are... Member Planetary Cargo Small Hall uh, for 50,000 AUEC, roughly, uh, which requires me to bring 4 SU of pressurized ice, from Port Tressler to Microtech Logistics Depot, SLD01, uh, then 3 SEU of ice to Greycat Stanton Production Complex A, 4 SEU of processed food from fr Port Tressler to Microtech Logistics Depot, SL S4LD13, and 3 processed used from to Microtech Logistics Depot. Second mission will be also for a member planetary small cargo hole, for an amount of 38,500 AUEC, which will require me to bring quartz from Port Tressler, 8 quartz, 8 SU to be specific to Sakura Sun, and S6 SU quartz to a new Babbage International Spaceport. The third mission I will be taking is Planetary Small Cargo Hall for the member rank, obviously, uh, for 34,750 delivering carbon. 3 SEU from Port Tressler to Sakura Sun Golden Rod Work Center, 2 SEU to the Grey Cat Stanton 4 Production Complex A, and 3 SEU to the New Babbage International Spaceport. And the final mission that I will be taking, so I'm bundling them up. F f fourth mission will be also member planetary small cargo hold for 36,250, uh, which will be delivering stims. 3 SEU from Port Tressler to Microtech Logistics S4LD13, three, another 3 SEU to Sakura Sun, another 2 SEU to Kovalex Distribution Center, which is a new destination, S4DC05, and 3 to the Microtech Logistics Depot S4LD01. And also some midway, I will be picking up waste and scrap just before returning back to Port Tressler, so to not go empty on that cargo hold. Now, if you have heard all of these contracts, you have noticed that all of them have the same point of origin, Port Tressler, and they will be going to a total of seven, approximately, destinations. Now, if you're meticulous like me, you will probably want to organize your deliveries by destination. And given that we have five major and two minor delivery locations, it will be grouped using the appropriate one cargo pod per delivery. So this is the breakdown. Our first destination will be Microtech Logistics Depot S4LD01, where we'll be delivering a total of four SEU of pressurized ice, 3 SEU of processed food, and 3 SEU of stims. The second destination will be the Microtech Logistics Depot S4LD13, where we will be delivering a total of 4 SEUs of processed food and 3 SEUs of stim. So this is really important why your cargo will be organized per destination. So if you have everything in one place, conveniently placed, that means that you can just yank them out from that location, deliver everything, and if you need to put anything else, you can put it in an empty space, but more about that a little bit later. Now, 
Third destination will be Sakura Sun Goldenrod Work Center, where we have a bigger drop off of 8 SU of quartz, 3 SU of carbon, and 3 SU of stims. After the Sakura Sun Golden Rod, we are coming to the first drop off slash pickup location, and by now we have unloaded a significant amount of cargo so that we can pick up a little bit of a bigger delivery hole. And this is the place where I will be picking up an additional mission. Okay, so at Great Head Stanton we will be first dropping off 3 SU of pressurized ice, 2 SU of carbon, and we will take an additional contract, which is member planetary medium delivery for 31,000, which is scrap and waste. So this mission is asking us to pick up 24 waste at uh, 23 waste at Greycat Stanton and deliver to Port Tressler and another 23 scrap at Greycat Stanton to deliver to Port Tressler. Also, it will require us to pick up more in the Kovalex uh, distribution center, which is also on our dis distribution list, but I'm gonna come to that. So, once you have loaded 23 SEO of waste at the Greycat Stanton and another 23 SEO of scrap to Greycat Stanton, we will be taking off and going to, guess what? Well, no, if you thought Port Tressler, no, that's not it. We're gonna be going to the new Babbage International. And at New Babbage International, we will be dropping six SCU of, of quartz and three SCU of carbon. After that, the goal is to deliver scrap and waste and we will be going to Port Tressler. Since uh, our cargo grid won't support the total hundred and something SU that the medium contract requires, we're gonna first drop off the first part from the Grey Cat. So once we get into the Port Tressler, we will be dumping the 23 SU of waste and another 20 SU, 3 SU of scrap. So after we have co successfully completed half of the medium contract and almost most of our uh, small contracts, we're gonna be going to our final destination before returning to Port Tressler, which is Kovalex Distribution Center S4DC05, where we will be dropping the last shipment of two stems and we will be picking up 24 SCU of waste and another 25 SCU of scrap, which needs to be required back to deliver back to Port Tressler. And once we go back, we are gonna be go back to Port Tressler and deliver. Now, I had a bug with this mission where one box fell through, so I couldn't complete the, to the medium contract for the Port Tressler. However, using this loop, you should be able to quickly rank up in both in terms of money and contracts, and you are almost never flying empty, which is the whole point. Furthermore, using the hull A will ensure easy cargo on and off and a maximum speed and profit. I would additionally recommend using the max lift tractor beam as it really helps to do, can do, can do a proper positioning so you don't need to run back and forth with the boxes and just slap them on on the, the carbo go grid. Now if you found this video to be helpful and informative I would really appreciate if you could give it a like and for more Star Citizen and other Space Games content stay subscribed to my channel. Thanks for watching!